This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, including my new bucktailing and blackfish jigging course, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. All right, back in the Everglades. Uh, and this time, I'm gonna take the correct channel out, and save myself some time. Um, I've got a strange creature I'm coming up on here as I'm looking, I a big turtle. Um, yeah, I expect to see things here for sure. Um, yep, I've got a couple marks on the fish finder from the last trip, so I'm hoping to do well. I've got a little bit slower currents, not quite as bad as last time. A uh, few look behind me at the rods. It's uh, a little different than what I use a little farther north. And uh, certainly bucktails are going to be the major focus here because yeah, I want those groupers, but you know what? I, I know there's going to be some tarpon coming through. Um, there's more boat traffic. I've seen some boats go through, so it might be a little noisy for them, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll find out. Yeah, a nice thing about the motorized kayak is I can get things done while I'm moving. All right, uh, sticking a 5-inch gulp grub on an SNS John Skinner fluke swing hook bucktail. Three-quarter ounce, uh, so I'm going to start off nice and light. Um, you know, I, I fished this one time before. Uh, Elias had given me uh, one mark out in this general area, and then I fished the area, and I've added some marks where I've caught fish, and so, you know, that's great to be able to start on uh, you know, something that I've caught on before. Yeah, hoping for a fast start. Yeah, this is a big game with the current. Uh, you've got to pick a day that you've got current taking you out, you know, for a kayak anyway, and, uh, you know, starting 90 minutes before slack, because peak current is really tough here. So uh, I'm moving along 1.9 miles an hour right now, so it's a little fast. Uh, I'm choosing the spinning rod at the moment because I want the option to cast. Last time I was here, I did see a few tarpon actually hooked one. So I'm gonna start with the spinning rod, but this is pretty much vertical jigging, so I will be switching over to the bait caster uh, at some point. Big time structure fishing here. I've got a mark on my plotter. Uh, you see all those red lines right side of the plotter. Uh, you can see those are all tracks where uh, I had caught a fish, made a mark, and then just, hey, just like I'm fluke fishing, pound the spot where the fish are. And uh, so that, that's what I'm doing. That's why you see I've made many drifts there before on the previous trip, just lining up my first drift on the spot now. Yeah, you'll see me dropping line occasionally. I want to stay in that near bottom strike zone. So actually when I'm you know jigging like that, what I'm looking is that when I drop the rod, I want to see that line float just for a second when I'm checking to see if I'm near the bottom and uh, just trying to stay down. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. Boy, it's a constant parade of boats coming through here. All right, this is the spot right here. Coming up on it. I saw the line get twitched. <sighs> Come on. Right on the mark. Nice. Oh, a good one to start. Wow. Can ease up on that a little bit. Wow. Oh boy. Come on. Nice. This. I think the bucktail came right out of him. Okay. All right. Nice. It's a heck of a start. My regular viewers know that other than gulp juice, I am not a big user of scents, but y you know what? It's my second trip here. Uh, Elias had told me he had done well, he thought that the scents made a difference. 
I, I trust what he says, so I used it the first trip. I'm going to use it now. Now, that is Procure Blue Crab Paste. I tried a different brand. I'm not going to say what the brand was because I can tell you I tried it on drifts right after I caught fish with this, and it didn't work. It didn't work to the point that I cut the bucktails off and didn't let them touch the, bu the new bucktails that I was putting on to put the Procure on. I, I'm not going to say what that brand was because I don't want to have had a bad tube or something and mess with somebody's company, but uh, what I will say is the Procure Blue Crab worked well. Okay, I'm definitely down there. Coming up on it. Okay, there's the structure right there. Come on. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I gotta get him. All right. I'm gonna make this a short, this is the spot right here. I gotta make a short drift here. Go right back up. Here it is. It's so nice to come out and have a have a mark where I've caught them. All right, two drifts, two fish. You know, I don't care whether it's stripers or fluke or these things. When you're fishing, drift fishing over structure, and you've got a spot that produces, shorten your drifts, pound those spots. When I see people making long drifts, they either don't know what they're doing or they have no idea where the fish are and they're just searching. But if you've got a hot spot, you know, pull up a little ahead of it, drift over it, don't go too far, go back on it, stay on it, and uh, maximize your time where the fish are. Losing the currents. First drift was 1.9 miles an hour, then 1.5, now I'm down to eh, about 1.3. I wouldn't say I'm losing the current, but it's going down to a nice fishable speed here. Come on. Okay. Almost there. see it yet. Okay. All right. Uh, the next. Okay. Here, here's the spot. Here it is. Ah, just. Yep. Right on it. Come on. Three drifts and three hookups. <clears throat> Ooh, a gag. I think. Yeah. I think so. Not sure. I don't know why I think that. Yeah, and after seeing it on video, I abs absolutely have no idea why I thought that was a gag. Um, I just was seeing it wrong. Um, definitely just a, a small Goliath. But, uh, hey, I'm, I'm throwing them all back anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, I'm, I'm just looking to have some fun fights and fish the structure. All right, it's clear to me now. I'm, I'm vertical jigging here. I'm not casting. So I can finally break out my new fluke rod. So this rod, 
uh, has just become available as this video is being released. Uh, Jane H. Tackle in Oakdale, and uh, uh, I, I've worked for this more than one year. I don't know five prototypes I went through, and uh, I did fish a, a very close prototype at the end of 2020. Um, for fluke at Montauk and I uh, had one final adjustment made, but this is the first time I'm getting to fish the real rod and uh, Yeah, it's, it's too early for fluke season yet But hey, I'm gonna hopefully get to bend this rod on some groupers and, and see how it feels I me mean, It feels great in my hands for jigging. I definitely want to hook some fish with it Yeah, I think it's the perfect vertical jigging rod for um, like one to six ounce range and uh, Yeah, six feet eight inches uh, I, I thought about every detail on this and there's a link to it in the video description. Yeah. This looks good. Oh, this looks really good. I haven't drifted over this exact spot. So normally I'd fish a quantum accurist on this rod, but I just didn't have any of those reels down in Florida. So this is an Abu Garcia Revo Beast. Uh, actually, I think it's a little higher quality than an accurist, but it doesn't have the flipping switch. So I'm controlling the clutch by using my thumb above and below the thumb bar. Okay. Oh. All right, good to feel that first fish on there, but I definitely want to feel something larger and get a real good bend in it. Yeah, you know, with the wind coming up and the current changing, the drift's going to change a little bit every drift, so I'm using the trolling motor to just punch it back and forth, you know, try to get it on that line so I go over the mark where those fish really seem to be stacked. Tighten the drag. Whoa. Oh, I like this bend on the rod. It bends throughout the middle. That's a nice one. Okay, right on it. Let's go, guys. I think I need to switch to the casting. My drift is really down to like nothing here. 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Like if I was fluking, I would kick the motor in and like slow troll it, but I gotta conserve battery. Well, yeah, I gotta start doing some casting.
There we go. Ooh, that's a good one. You can just feel the tail pumps on that. Oh, I'm glad I've got this rod for this one. <laughs> mm. Let's pretend it's a doormat. Whoa. Yeah, with the drifter shot, uh, it's down to like nothing. So I'm going to do some casting over the structure. Actually, it's over a, a different piece of structure where I um, caught well casting on the previous trip. So got the spinning rod back out. And uh, by the way, this has not got the 2,000 evict reel on there. It's a 3,000 spooled with 30. So I've definitely beefed things up. And even this rod is um, it's a medium, but it's trimmed a little bit. It was trimmed accidentally in an accident, but it makes it a little bit stiffer. And you'll notice I'm letting that bucktail go to the bottom before I start the retrieve because I want to stay down low. It is the first cast. I'm glad I switched. Because it really, the tide's just dying. So what you're going to see on this video is how I'm going to fish the transition in the tide. I mean, at the beginning, I've got hardly any wind. What little breeze there was was going with the current. Very natural drift. Perfect. Um, but now I've lost it. Uh, the current's down to, to just about nothing. So I'm going to make some casts over the structure and, and cover it that way. Now when that current starts coming back in, it's going to be going against the wind. So what I'm going to do is kick in that trolling motor and do a slow troll into the wind, but with the current. Yeah, wow. Wow, what a hit. Well, that was impressive. For the size. Why? Well, no wonder. It's a little jack. They do hit hard. A speckled trout so I'm getting a little variety on the tie turn actually after I caught this I caught a catfish but kept him off the video okay so now I'm using the trolling motor to create the perfect drift so I'm just going very slowly into the wind but with the current about one mile an hour it's exactly what I would be doing if I was fluke fishing or for the southern anglers uh, flounder fishing Slow troll, just like fluking. <laughs> oh, wow, 
Howdy. Bang that. Boy, those hits is nothing like it. Wow. I moved up to a one ounce and a six inch gulp grub. Trolling motor. I'm just dialing in that perfect fluke speed, like 1 to 1.2 miles an hour. This is such a combination of striper fishing and fluke fishing. Come on, guys. I know you're there. Second, come on. Whoa. That's three passes with the trolling motor, three hookups. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, I'll just keep running the same play until the uh, Current makes it dead, I don't know. These are fun size, it's perfect. Now that's a surprise. said I was fluke fishing. Uh... All right, that's a gulf flounder. But to me, it looks like a fluke, it acts like a fluke. So, all right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And please check out my new online bucktailing course.